Legislative is an unsafe medical practice, and um, the doctor does not have to fulfill that if he um, does not think that it's necessary. Because what we were, what we were implying right there is if it was like a, something that the country would want you to do, like say that um, in some religions uh, you're not supposed to uh, circumcise the person, um, you would not be able to circumcise the person. You just have to follow the country's rules when it comes to their medical practices. Thank you, it's from again. Uh, you addressed the problems uh, in the less economically developed countries, but how would you address those in the uh, more developed countries? In the more developed countries, they're uh, less priority than the third world countries, such as the countries in Africa. And so we're trying to address the problems as they come in the priority level. And so the third world countries are coming first in that uh, situation. Where will these doctors be from, and how how do you plan to get enough volunteers? We've already spoken to the countries that we would like volunteers from, um, excluding the United States. Um, we talked to the United Kingdom, they would be completely in for it, and they would be sending their volunteers as necessary. I'm sure that we can get more volunteers from other countries. Who would pay for this all? Um, who would pay for, or would it be the doctors themselves who pay for this? Um, as uh, it usually is, the doctors would be usually paying for this, um, as it is currently if they want to go to a third world country uh, to practice their medical skills. But when it comes to um, when it comes down to it, sometimes the country itself um, needs help probably more than the doctor would want to go, and so in that case, then uh, we would supply the funds for the trip. How do you plan to ensure the safety of the doctors from not only illness, but violence? It's up to the doctors, it's voluntary. So if anything happens to them, then, well, it was their choice to go to the country. Why do you prefer young and unexperienced doctors to take care of something that's like a bigger problem, and like, instead of choosing more older and more experienced doctors? They should be experienced and they went into medical school. And if they're fresh out, then their information should be fresh out of their minds. And so we should be, if we're graduating these people from medical school, it's an opt to be performing these um, medical uh, performances on people in the United States. I think that we should be able to trust them with uh, medical practices in their countries. You said that you would be paying for the expenses of medical students, but where do you plan on getting the funding for it? We've asked um, the more wealthy, more wealthy countries, such as the United Kingdom, uh, they would be willing to supply funds uh, for the doctors, for their pay, for being the third world countries. Um, and with the, um, the uh, intellectual property laws uh, being reduced, uh, more money will 